We're in Dallas, Texas. Trans Am. Showing love. Can't complain about this. Okay. Can't complain. Can't complain at all. Clean jungle, you know what I'm saying? Clean jungle. Day one, baby. First day in Texas. Tomorrow we out for orientation. Let's go. What's up, YouTube? We're on day two. Well, shall I say day one? Sam Jam. On that road trash. No. We're not having a plan to pass mine so far, but. On right, to the next step. Drug test, paperwork. And hopefully, I'm out here by Friday, man. Get back to y'all. going on YouTube this is my opinion my experience with Trans Am um, how can I start off all right first they make sure that you know you know how to drive the truck the train at Cornell is real cool it works with you the company overall is cool. I'm not knocking the company. But um the pay rate, yeah. That's the main thing about a job. Especially if you're going over the road. I don't I feel like the pay rate isn't good enough. Um they were trying to start me. I have I have over the road experience. Um I have my CDL for six months and they were trying to start me off at 31 cents per mile i was told over the phone that i would get started at 55 cents per mile and once i got to texas it was a different story so after my training i respectfully told the recruiter at the front desk that I have received a better job offer and I'm gonna respectfully decline my position with Trans Am. They gave me a piece of paper to sign. They told me no problem. Um, they even sent the Uber for me to, you know, get to the airport. But um, yeah, Trans Am will pay for you to get out there wherever they're at. Um, once you do a no call, no show, and you want to reapply for Trans Am and try it again, they're going to tell you to be responsible for your own travels. Or they might put you on a bus. Um, they reimburse you. That's one thing for sure. They definitely reimburse you. Um, they make sure you, you, you know, you're comfortable. Um... <clears throat> The hotel that they put me in was, was fine, as you can see, clean. Um, they do give you breakfast and lunch. You're responsible for your own dinner. Um, they pick you up from the hotel and take you to class every morning. Say about anywhere between 7.30 to like 3.30, 4 o'clock the latest. Um, dinner you're responsible for, if I didn't say that already. Um, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Uh, with the way that the economy is going right now, with the trucking industry, so I say, I wouldn't recommend anybody to do the least to own. Unless 
you know, <laughs> with Trans Am, from what I've heard, I wouldn't do the least to own. They'll buddy you up to throw you in a truck very fast, but you'll just have to, you know, go through it and figure it out on your own. But my personal opinion, go to company driver because, you know, Trans Am is really a last resort company, my opinion. If you can't find any work anywhere, you have a bad license, um, you have felonies, anything like that, they don't, you know, they don't discriminate. They, they're a second chance company, shall I say. So, yeah, I respectfully declined. Um, they reimbursed me for my plane ticket, and they also paid me for training. So... You know, if you're looking for a job, looking to get hired and start going over the road as soon as possible, Trans Am is, you know, the way to go. If you want to just go sightseeing and, you know, you don't want to see $1,000 a week, I've heard guys see 300 and change after taxes, and that's a company driver, so, um, yeah, that's my experience with Trans Am.